Hi, welcome to this Corbin Maths video on the sine rule and then we're going to use the sine rule in this video to work out the size of missing angles. So the version of the sine rule which I use for this is sine capital A over little a equals sine capital B over little b equals sine capital C over little c. And what that's saying is the sine of the angle divided by the length of the side opposite it is equal to the sine of the next angle divided by the length of the side opposite it, which is equal to the sine of the last angle divided by the length of the side opposite it. Okay, so let's use that to work out some missing angles. So here we've got a question, and the question says calculate the size of Vita. So we've got a triangle, we've got the missing angle Vita here, we've got this angle 75 degrees, and we've got the length of the sides opposite of those, so the tens opposite the 70, uh, 75 degrees, and we've got the length of this side being six, and that's the side opposite the Vita. So let's plug those in, or let's substitute those into the formula. So the formula is sine capital A, over a equals sine capital B over little b. So we've got our sine vita, so sine vita over the length of the side opposite it, so that's over six, is equal to sine b, so sine 75 degrees, divided by the length of the side opposite, so divided by 10. Okay, so we can now work this out. So I'm going to work out my sine 75 divided by 10. So it's going to be sine Vita divided by 6 equals and sine 75 divided by 10. Well, that's going to be equal to sine 75 divided by 10. And that's equal to 0 0.0965 and so on. I'm not going to write down the whole display. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to write that. I'm going to keep that on my calculator display. And now I don't want to know what sine Vita over six is. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by six. So that's going to give me sine Vita equals, and I'm going to times this by six. So multiplied by six gives me the answer of 0 0.57955 and so on. Okay, again, I'm not going to round this. Now in this question, I've been asked to work out the size of the angle Vita. I haven't been asked to work out the size of sine Vita. So I'm going to work, want to work out what Vita is. So I'm going to press shift sign or the inverse sign. So I'm going to do sine minus one of 0 0.57955 and so on. And that will give me the size of the angle Vita. So on my calculator, I just press shift sign and I've already got my answer there. So I'm going to press answer and press equals. And that's going to give me that Vita is equal to 35.42 degrees, and that's to two decimal places. And that's it. So the size of this angle, Vita, is 35.42 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at another example now. Okay, so our next question says, calculate the size of angle BAC. So if we've got this triangle, we've got ABC, so we wanna find the size of angle BAC. So that's this angle here, Vita. Now, interestingly in this question, I don't know the length of the side opposite it, and you can only use the sine rule if you know the angle and the sides opposite it. So what I'm actually gonna do in this question is rather than get the size of the Vita, I'm gonna work at the angle a, B, C. I'm going to find what angle A, B, C is. So I'm going to call this angle up here, let's just call it Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the size of angle Y and then I'll use this angle, the 112, and then I'll take those away from 180 and I'll work out the size of beta. So let's write down what the sine rule is. So the sine rule is sine A over little a equals sine B over little b. So that's the angle and the side opposite it, the angle and the side opposite it. So we're going to be focusing on the y, so we want to find what that is. So we're going to write sine y over, and then it's the side opposite it, so that's over 23 equals, and then we know the, the 40 do, uh, centimeters and the 112 degrees, so we're going to use sine 112 over 40. And again, we're going to work out what this is in the calculator, so we're going to do sine 112, close brackets, divided by 40. And that's equal to sine y over 23, and that's equal to 0 0.023179, and so on. But I don't wanna know what that is divided by 23, so I'm gonna multiply both sides of this equation by 23, so that could be sine y equals, and times by 23 is equal to 0 0.53313, so on. Again, don't round any of these numbers, and I don't wanna know what the sine of y is, I wanna know what y is, so y equals the inverse sine, or shift sine, of 0 0.5331, and so on. 
and that gives us when we press shift sign and answer that gives us that y is equal to 32.217 so on degrees but we don't want to know what y is but let's actually label it there 32.217 so on we want to find the size of the angle vita the angle b a c so we're going to add these two angles together and we're going to take it away from 180 so 180 minus the sum of 32.217 so on plus 112 and that gives us so let's add 112 to that number let's take it away from 180 and that gives us the angle BAC so this angle here Vita is equal to 35.8 degrees to one decimal place so that's it so if you're using the sign rule to find the size of missing angles I would recommend using this version of the formula there is another video called the sign rule the ambiguous case um, it, it might be worthwhile watching that video as well after this one and that's it